Hi YouTube, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be talking about crystallization catalysts and how you can get them. Stick to the end of the video because I'm going to give you a few spots where you can grind each material that you need to craft these. It's actually pretty easy. Basically said, in order to craft the crystallization catalyst, you need a few things. Murky energy, residue, biogel, sponge, I call it. And then the, there is the other bacteria, the mixed energy, residue, um, and the brains. And you need crystallization catalyst blueprints. Right, those are the few things that you need to craft one of these. These are extremely important because this make your characters way, way more stronger. And not only your characters, but also used in your weapons. And keep in mind that there is also a time frame that you need to consider when you're crafting these, right? Because it takes a little bit of time for you to craft them. I just finished one. I had prepared materials for another one. And now in this video, I'm going to show you what are the spots that you can focus on and efficiently grind those Super easy. If you like this content, I would really appreciate your support by liking this video. Oh. Uh, let's go one by one. Let me show you how to grind the first item in the list, murky energy residue. In order to get this, click F and the mission that I am running basically is this unknown laboratory. You can do this both on normal and on hard mode, right? So what you need to do is you need to Come over here in st sterile land and just run this mission. You come over here, you do the mission, you, you view the operation. Now you can do it private, you can do it in a public match. You don't have to click or do anything additional over here. This module, by the way, is pretty good. So this mission in general, um, you know, it's pretty interesting if you want to play Freyna in the, in the future. This is uh, an exclusive mod for her where you can grind it. And all you have to do is run this mission. I'll speed up to the part where you need to uh, kill a specific elite in there. And you can restart and do this mission over and over again. Um, and yeah, let me just turn on uh, the Formula One uh, mode for a uh, bunny. So, once you are here, you kill all these mobs over here, and on the opposite side over there, there will be an elite spawning, and this is your favorite guy. He will spawn up here, and that's this is the place where we grind our favorite material there you go he's spawning right now we kill him and he drops the material the, bur the purple circle over here boom 13 of these this is the material what we want and you do this over and over again unless you know you try to do the entire mission and you want to grind for the module for Freyna. I've already have this module. I don't need it uh, because I did my grind um, like a couple weeks ago already for this module. Uh, but this is how you get this specific material. Biogel is actually a very easy and a very quick grind. Uh, I will show you where and how to get them. But in, in case you get lost, you can always click over here and you can click um and see where exactly you can get it right so the the two missions that i'm running when i'm grinding um th these is this over here and this over here and what you do and what i highly suggest you do is you jump in into one of those missions you have to be on hard mode 
um, and you check on you open you, you open up your timer you check if it is near ready so but let, let me see if what's going on on this map oh it's actually available so I run there very quickly it takes literally five to ten seconds and there might be someone over there already um, and yeah but in this case there is no one so all you have to do is kill those over here I mean you know you blow up those uh, structures and after that there was there was one elite spawning up here you kill this bad boy and he has a chance to drop you the materials and he just did and we got 13 biogel what you do is basically there is now a five minute timer on this you don't wait five minutes you jump to the next one and you check if the mission is available if the mission is about to be available let's say in less than a minute don't switch servers don't switch maps just go there and wait another second um and there is one in 40 seconds by the way so i'm just gonna go here all you have to do is jump over there's already a couple of people waiting here all you have to do is wait for you know the the mission to spawn to trigger now keep in mind in order for it to spawn properly you need to be actually outside of the of this area not inside because sometimes this will slow out uh the spawn of this mission so those are the two spots where you get the bio gels pretty easy pretty straightforward you just hop from one place to another you can do this on private servers as well um but yeah keep in mind that um uh, public ones are just you know quick right here's the elite already this is literally just a couple seconds and this guy didn't drop um the the bio gel so this is you know sometimes it's, it's a random drop but in like maybe eight out of ten times you will get the bio gel with different amounts sometimes it will be 11 12 13 uh and so on you need 22 so you need like literally less than five minutes ideally if you if you jump straight to a mission less than five minutes to get enough for one craft so this is how you get the bio gels all right so the next material that you need is the other type of bacteria i call them bacteria because they look like bacteria um the mixed energy residue this one you get from opening storages data storages um i highly recommend if you have enzo unlocked just switch to enzo and i'll show you um a couple of places where you can actually um, you know go back to the same place over and over again and check if there are if there are any data banks available uh for you to open up so one of the one of the spots that i recommend you check out every time is this in agna desert uh this this particular way, waypoint you port in you scan out look for the sound if the sound is there you're good to go you just look around um and uh look for the data banks let me check if there is one right now oh yep there is a sound let me jump here nope let me see in here there it is there is one of the well, one of these All right. i know embarrassing right i wasn't prepared for this uh specific moment when i was recording this video i will make up for that in the in the end of the video i'm actually going to show you a spot that is actually a very good kuiper grinding spot a very good gold grinding spot and also you get keys every three to five minutes maybe stick to the end of the video to check out the spot now i'm going to show you the materials that you get when you open one and you look there you go there there is the uh cold breaker uh you open this one up if there is someone nearby he will also benefit by you opening it and all you have to do is open it up and you will get or over here on the right side the materials that you need doesn't matter where you are on hard or on normal anywhere in agna desert if you open the crypto storages like this one you'll get these materials those are e pretty easy to to farm and to grind this is how you do it i also all right let's talk about the brains the brains is actually also a very easy mission that you can do 
all you have to do is go to White Knight Gulch. And in particular, we are looking for this mission over here, Orders Veil. Vale. This is actually a pretty easy mission. It is basically one of those missions where you need to uh, run in a circle, in a closed circle and kill the mobs. In there, there are several elites that you want to kill. This is not the only place where you can get the brains, um, but this is one of the efficient spots where you can efficiently grind it. You know, you just run over here. And this is also like a, around five minute grind. I'll just demonstrate it to you very quickly. Here is the mission. You start it over here. Um, and that's it. You run in this circle. You kill the mobs. And you wait for the elites. The elites drop the brains. Now here, um, compared to other spots, you won't see, for example, 10 drops uh, uh, from one elite. You will most likely see two two to three brains and there's also another bunny joined me over here already in the grind um, for those brains right all you have to do is kill the mobs pretty self-explanatory place you wait for the elites to spawn you kill the elites there are three different elites that spawn on this mission and that's pretty much it nothing too difficult nothing too fancy just running around killing you will get of course and there's by the way here are the brains um two brains from this elite drop there will be two more elites that also have a chance for you to get the drop uh for the brains now it's not guaranteed but this is a mission that you can run over and over again you just go back reactivate the mission um and yeah if you have a group if you have other people um that are helping you out in terms of damage and you guys are grinding this spot and everyone is running in circles and imagine you have four bunnies uh, spinning around here you won't even understand how quickly you've done this mission um and speaking about the group uh, here is by the way a second uh, a couple more brains that just dropped speaking about the group we actually i have a channel in my discord uh, discord link below um, where we have a, a LFG looking for group um, channel where you can basically post your game tag and you can group up with people from the Discord and run pre-made groups um, for efficient grinds, right? I highly recommend you join our Discord and yeah, we can be like, like they say we can be friends. We can be friends, we can play together, we can, um, you know, grind together certain materials all you have to do is say all right i'm looking to grind uh, the brain material for the crystallized um thing and there you go we have another three brains so from this mission itself i got four seven brains right and all you have to do is go back and restart the mission all right so let's talk about the last piece of the puzzle and that is specifically the crystallization catalyst blueprint uh, now, this is, those are pretty easy to get. However, the, the drop chance is a little bit more tedious uh, because it's actually uh, from killing bosses, right? Uh, now, there are several different ways for you to open this up. You can literally go down the list over here and pick any of these that you want to grind. Now, the easier ones are obviously always going to be the first here on the list. If you want to grind Gravewalker over here, you need to do, uh, for example, the popular defensive mission in kingston right if you're doing the power leveling method you probably already have tons of these and by the way if you still don't know how to power level the easy way the video will be over there basically do the the defensive missions and you will get the amorphous materials you can also by the way check the ones that you already have and you have multiple of these for example i have seven pieces of these um i need to kill pyromaniac and there's a 15 chance for me to get the crystallization catalyst blueprint all right and there you have it you open up you open up one of the amorphous materials that you have you have the 15 percent drop chance now if you do those on hard mode you have a chance to get the you, you have them i believe a 20 percent chance for drop rate but this is how you get them um you just simply go and grind these off i didn't get one this time and i don't need to grind them right now 
um, but this is how you get them. This is how you get the uh, crystallized catalyst. You have all the necessary materials to craft one. Keep in mind that there is a seven plus hours crafting uh, waiting time that you need to wait to craft one. So probably you can craft like two or two, two or three per day, depends how much you play. Uh, but those are really important. I highly suggest you occasionally go and grind for those materials little by little because you will be using these a lot on different descenders, on different builds, on different weapons. This is actually a really, really important materials. Up in the next video, I'm going to show you how to grind efficiently the energy activators, which is also a pretty um, important item for you to, um, you know, unlock the full potential of your descendants. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful, let me know in the comments below and I really appreciate you watching this video. Join our Discord. We're growing a community. We want to have more people in it so we can have more parties uh, grinding uh, together and having fun. I also live stream almost every day on Twitch, sometimes on YouTube. Make sure you tune in. All right, now I will show you one of the methods where you can actually uh, grind the... Um, encoders right if you run short on um you know the encrypted encoders to open up the data banks you go to echo swamp you go and grind this mission abandoned refinery unit um literally every like probably one to five missions will give you a drop of these uh do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. And there you go, precision code breaker. Those are the items that we're looking for. It literally took me five minutes to grind the usual, you know, hyper grind that I'm running. Um, and in here, you get tons of these materials all the time. Um, so yeah, that, that's how you, this is how you get the uh, code breakers. Now there is a chance for you to get a better one or a worse one, but this is one of the ways to get one. 